Melissa Smith joining us now, one of 15 finalists for the Women's Wooden Award presented by Wendy's. Welcome, Melissa, and, and I'm going to get right to it because you're coming off a career high. What a game in the Big 12 semi win over Oklahoma. 37 points, upping your average over the last six games to 28 points and 13 rebounds per. What has changed for you during this stretch recently where you've been just unstoppable? Uh, you know, just focusing on consistency. I feel like my biggest thing this year is just staying consistent in every aspect, whether it's scoring or rebounding. So, you know, just helping my team get to the, the next game, next championship. So, you know, just staying consistent, it helps us out. I want to point out to everybody, that was your 23rd double-double and your sixth 30-point game of the season again, which is why you were in the running for that prestigious award, the Wooden Award presented by Wendy's. Um, I know, obviously, tough loss to Texas in the Big 12 title game. Now you're the two seed in that Wichita Regional, looking up to Louisville, who has that number one seed. What was your reaction, Alyssa, when the bracket was revealed? Uh, you know, I always want to see us out of one seed, but, you know, those were the cards we was dealt. So, you know, we're used to being an underdog. It just gives us a reason to prove everybody wrong. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes a little bit of a snub tip on your shoulder can help you, especially when you got a couple of days to think about it leading up to your first game. Let's go back to Saturday against Oklahoma. As good as your day was, unforgettable day for the Smith family as a whole. Let's remind people if you missed it. Little competition at halftime. You were busy at halftime in the locker room. Let's, let's take a look, though. Your brother and your dad, Rodney and Rodney Jr., part of a half-court shot competition, and I cannot get enough <laughs> of this video that's your brother passing the ball to dad who nailed it the, the best part is that he won sixty six hundred dollars worth of gas money so so first of all how did you find out about it oh well, i was sitting in the locker room and that's when uh one of our managers came up to me and was like you know your dad just hit a half court <laughs> shot and they showed me the video i'm like wait what and so i seen it and like I know how he is. He's competitive, so I knew he was going to knock it down. Wait, you, you knew? Is this something that he practices? Because afterwards, he was like, oh, yeah, I knew I was going to hit it. <laughs> He's just competitive, so I know with the lights on him, I knew he was going to make it. <laughs> I'd say a nice little tandem there with brother and son as well. That is so cool. Um, the other cool thing is that the gas money is significant because it's going to be put to good use with your brother. People everywhere are realizing that your brother is arguably your biggest supporter, traveling around the country with his friends to support you, to cheer you on. So I imagine the driving will continue this week. Describe your relationship with your brother. Oh, that's my best friend. You know, that's my why. Like, everything I do is, you know, for my brother, for my family. You know, after every game, I talk to him. Uh, before every game sends me a message, you know, that's just my motivation. It's my best friend since we was growing up. So is, is he going to drive to watch you? Uh, I don't know if he's coming to the first round, but he already booked his tickets for Wichita. And he said we go <laughs> at Final Four, so he ready. <laughs> well, now that he's got the extra $6,600 in his pocket, I, I want videos. I want you to continue to follow this on your Instagram account because it's going to be fun to watch as he continues yeah. to support you. Sure. Uh, back to the court, big changes this season. Nikki Collin took over as head coach after the legendary Kim Mulkey uh, left for LSU. Colin coming from the WNBA, 2018 Coach of the Year for the Atlanta Dream and the WNBA. She's one of the best. How was she able to come in, Melissa, and make this team work immediately? You know, she came in just being herself. She never tried to act like anybody she wasn't. She never tried to, you know, coach differently. She came in with the mindset that she was going to change this team for the better. So, you know, just her energy, a different coaching style. Uh, she lets us spread the floor. Uh, she, she's just energetic. She's always laughing, smiling. So, you know, just staying true to herself, it helped us a lot. And, and really keeping this excellent tradition going down there in Baylor, you are in the conversations for National Player of the Year. Caitlin Clark of Iowa, Aaliyah Boston of South Carolina, other stars also in that conversation, as they should be. I want to give you an opportunity here to make your case. Why is Melissa Smith the best player in the country? I just feel like I'm different. You know, I bring so much to the table. Uh, I could score from like two, three different levels. I'm not just scoring on the block, you know. Uh, I'm rebounding every single night. I'm helping my team out. I feel like I'm a great leader on the floor too. Uh, I feel like if you just watch me play, you'll just see why I'm different. Uh, I have passion for the game. You know, you can see my excitement when I play. So I feel like that's the reason why I should be player of the year. I love your confidence, deservedly so. You're also pretty creative. You, you have a clothing line and some shirts and hats in that clothing line that say slept on. 
I'm going to ask yeah. you, what exactly does that mean? What's the story there? Uh, I feel like I kind of been counted out my whole life. Like you can even see it in the National Player of the Year running. Like you, see, you don't see my name a lot, rather than everybody else's. So I just feel like I always been slept on, always had to prove myself, always had to, you know, rise above the uncertainty. So you know, just always playing my hardest. You know, I just feel like I'm slept on. I always feel like I'm slept on. Well. Sometimes it isn't a bad thing, and, and now the entire basketball world is learning more about you. Um, here's the thing, you're expected to be a top pick in the draft. How are you keeping focused on the right now? Because you know you're going to play at that next level, while also being excited about the future. What's that balance like for you? Uh, you know, it's always in the back of my mind. It's something I've worked for my entire life, but, you know, I got to figure out the task at hands right now, you know, get us to the Final Four, get us to a national championship. So, you know, like I always tell people, my personal goals will help our team go. So me playing my hardest and getting player of the year, getting Big 12 player of the year, it's going to help us, you know, get to the national championship, get us to the final four. So, you know, I keep playing my best basketball. It's going to help us out. Absolutely. That's all anybody can ask, in particular, all you can ask of yourself. We cannot wait to see Baylor kick off the tournament against Hawaii. Again, it's 4 o'clock Eastern time on Friday on ESPN2. And then Alyssa Smith, no matter what, we know you're going to be a success. Congrats on everything, including the clothing line. Keep killing it out there. We'll, we look forward to watching you. And thank you for joining us here on the thank show. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.